All right, guys, so we're going to talk about space today. So let's just dive right in. Space, when we talk about it in interiors, can be real or it can be perceived. And space, when it's real, is really just the area that's within an enclosure. Everybody needs their space, right? Everyone needs to have their bubble. Have you guys heard of that before when you say, get out of my bubble? This is really just something called the theory of proxemics coming into play. So um, your private space is going to be 18 inches around your body. Your personal space is going to be a foot to four feet. Your social space will be four feet to 12 feet and your public space will be 12 feet and beyond. Now, um, what this means, because there's a range there, I'm sure you're a little bit confused, is that everybody has a different size bubble. So some people have a small bubble, some people have a big bubble. And depending on the size of your bubble will determine what your personal space is and your social space is. Um, but everybody needs space. And you're probably asking yourself, well, why does this matter when it comes to interiors? Think about your dining room table. How close your chairs are to each other okay is are your chairs within a private space are they within a personal space a social space this matters a lot when it comes to floor planning because when you're putting a floor plan together you want to make sure that you're thinking about walkways and um, routes from one place to another and this theory of proxemics will determine the size of furniture that you're going to want to purchase and put in your home. So space is the area that a designer works with. That is really the nitty gritty definition. It is this uh, what you as a designer are given to work with. And it can be defined by different walls, dividers, furniture, other objects, okay? And so um, that's important to note that you can divide a a room or a space with furniture okay so when we look at these rooms we notice a few things with a lesser amount of space when you don't have that much space the room is going to feel more intimate cozy it provides us with this feeling of protection rooms with a lot of space can feel really open and relaxed so depending on what you're trying to do in that room will determine how you're going to design it. So, but sometimes too much or too little space can even be a problem. So too little space almost seems like you have a lack of privacy. You're feeling overwhelmed even while too much space can make us feel lonely. So we need to really strike a good balance. So to make a room seem more spacious or to make it expand, in other words, what you can do is allow large openings between rooms so that the eye can travel to the adjacent rooms. Use a smaller scale piece of furniture, smaller scale patterns that are on your furniture, and smaller scale textures so that they're not really big and fluffy. Using less in this room will be more, okay? Um, if you're trying to make your room seem bigger, put less furniture furnishings in it. Use smoother textures because they reflect light, and so they make the room seem bigger. And decorating with light and cool colors are always going to have that expansion um, effect. And last but not least, least, excuse me, is if you use mirrors to create reflections, it will make your room seem much, much larger. To make your space seem a little bit more intimate or enclosed, you can decorate with dark and warm colors, you can use rough textures, and you can use large scale furniture and accessories. Anything that goes all the way down to the floor also makes your room seem smaller than it is, okay? But there's two different types of space. There's negative space and there's positive space. Positive space is anything that's being occupied with an object or a person. You are positive space. What you're sitting on is positive space. What you're watching this through is positive space. Then there's negative space. This is unoccupied space. It's defined by the edges of positive space. So that emptiness around your body, that's uh, negative space. Okay? The emptiness around your laptop, that's negative space. Here's the deal. One cannot exist without 
the other. They are so crucial. So all rooms have this balance of positive and negative space. And it's important to get a good ratio. Because remember, if you have too much, it's overwhelming. It's chaotic. If you don't have enough, then it's lonely. So examples of negative space or empty space would be underneath the coffee table. And like right in that red circle. Um, The positive space would be anything that's filled. The stuff on top of the coffee table walkways are going to be negative space and the furniture in a room will be positive space all right so your first assignment here is going to find a magazine picture of a room that shows how to make a room feel more spacious or more intimate and otherwise uh, make it expand or make it enclose okay you're going to border it just like normal with a fourth inch border title the page in block lettering more spacious or more intimate and then write a paragraph explaining how space is accompanied in your picture example okay now let's do your positive and negative space assignment we can see looking at these pictures which is the positive space what is the negative space my eye on this one right here the black is the positive space and the white is the negative space but really it could be reversed the black could be the negative space and the white could be the positive space right these pictures show how A balance is really required when working with positive and negative space. So your assignment is to take two pieces of paper, one that's a full sheet and the other that's a half sheet. The colors should be complementary. And then use the half sheet, you're going to draw a design on it. Then cut out that design and place the cutout pieces on the other side of the full sheet. You're going to paste the the cut out half sheet on the full sheet and then the The pieces of your design that you've cut out from the half sheet will go on the other side of that full sheet. So if we look at this purple one right here, we can see that the the lavender is the full sheet, okay? And this darker purpley color has been pasted on top. And what they did here is they cut out um, this, I don't know, like diamond-esque shape right here and pasted it on the other side of the uh the their picture so you can really see that they're getting positive and negative space here the same thing here with this one all right that's all i've got for you today um finish your space assignments today please